Mrs. Kumar, welcome to uh, AWS uh, 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 new service I want to start today. So that would be AWS Directory Services. So what's meant by uh, AWS Directory Services? So, so if you just take an example, like if you want to, okay, I'll share my screen. Yeah, so what's meant by AWS Directory Services? AWS Directory Services is nothing but, actually it's basically providing uh, the Active Directory as a AWS service. So typically, so what do you require normally when you try to create a VPC, when you try to go and create a service and everything? I'll show you a small diagrammatical format. So let's take an example. I am able to create a VPC. So in a VPC, I'm coming with the CIDR. I have a public subnet, private subnet, IGW, which is a basically entry and exit point. I have a NAT to get private subnets internet, NACL for protects my system, as well as route table respect to route table for public and private subnet. Now take an example. If I want to create a, basically an active directory, what typically people will go and create? People will go and create one server here. Basically, then they go and install DNS. Then they will go and install Active Directory services, and then they configure something called as group policies. So they go and provide group policies. They will go and create users. They are going and creating okay groups, all these things. Now the question comes into picture is, what is this? Now this is basically an EC2 instance, right? If it is EC2 instance, it is recommended. It should run 24 into 7 into 365 days. I have to provide all those kind of maintenance required for it. If something happens, I have to take a backup. Understood, right? I should have a capability of restore. All these things, all the maintenance words are coming into picture. So this particular thing that is when you talk about something called as active directory. OK. So everything you need to define, you need to install it, you need to configure it, you need to properly handle it, you need to maintain it. So Amazon keeps a full stop for this one by coming with something called as directory services. Now, what is the meaning of directory services? Directory services means nothing but active directory as a service in AWS. So entire maintenance, basically, they will go, when you click on one shot, it's their responsibility to go and create an DNS. They will go and install. They will go and provide you Active Directory. They will go and provide two systems to go and provide high availability. So all these kind of entire things as an Active Directory as a service is provided by AWS. Now let's take an example. When I go and create directory services in AWS, so what will happen? When I go and create directory services, take an example. This is my VPC. This is my public subnet. This is my private subnet. Take an example. And this is another subnet. Amazon makes sure he clearly come up and say, boss, this may be availability zone A, sorry, A, A, B. So when you go and create directory services, Amazon goes and create basically DNS. So he goes and creates so in the server number one and in server number two. So understood, right? So he goes and provide you high availability, everything what you, he goes and create one server here and one server here. There are two servers which are created for DNS. Right? So what we are going to learn today. So I'm going to create. A, so we are going to create a, a directory services, but actually it's a private DNS. Active directory will be taken care. It generates two DNS servers. Then what will happen? You need to take this DNS servers basically add it into DHCP option set. So whenever you want to go and add hundreds and hundreds of systems tomorrow, all the servers should be automatically added to the domain, automatically add, added to uh, all those kind of things, right? So that's the reason we have something called as DHCP. We will add the data into DHCP, edit the DHCP and add the new basic to the data, and then we go and create a server for it. All the system gets created. So for a take an example of a protocol here. So let us go back. I've already created a directory services for you, but I'll show you what is the procedure to go and create. So very, it's very simple, actually. It's, it's actually, just try to go and create here in that basically right hand side. OK, what is that? Set up directory. Click on set up directory. It is asking, do you want to create a Microsoft Active Directory, which is very popular? We are going to create that one, right? Second one, simple Active Directory. Simple Active Directory, basically, it's nothing, but it will go and generate a basic Active Directory for integration with something like LDAP and all those things you require. 
AD connector. What is AD connector? If you want to indicate the active directory here versus you have on-premise active directory, you can establish a bridge between two active directories, on-premise versus AWS, that is called as AD connect. And Amazon Cognitive User Portal is basically Amazon OAuth basic authentication that's already present. Let me go and create AWS Manage, okay? Microsoft Active Directory. So I click on Next. Very straightforward. It is asking, do you want to go for a standard or enterprise? I don't want to go for enterprise. I want to go for standard because this is just a demo. And what do you want your private DNS name to be? So what would you, what is your company name? Let's take an example. My company is AWSbit.com. So I'll go and provide my domain name AWSbit.com. Now if some, something you want more, you can go and add it. No, nothing in wrong in providing it, right? So you go and provide a, what is that? AWSbit. Dot com. What is your directory NetBias name? It's an optional. I don't want to enter anything. Second one, do you want to provide any description? Provide a description about your domain. Fourth one, what is the password of your admin? So the ad username here, be careful, will be admin. Password will be let's go and provide anything. I'm just going entering password as PAS, password one, two, three. Just take an example. P A S S W O R D one, two, three. Very straightforward. So I provide all the details, my domain name, password. I click on next. It is very, very important. It is asking, do you want to create this DNS in which VPC? This is very important. Select your VPC. I've already created a VPC called as test directory services. I can select this one. So very, very, very important. As ADA, as domain name, active directory as provided as a service by AWS, for high availability, they will definitely ask, can you choose two subnets? Based on the two subnets, they will go and create the servers in the two subnets for high availability. Take an example. I'll go and specify A and I'll specify B. Take an example. This is just a safe example. I can go and provide two subnets. Click on next. Now it's asking, do you want to create? Simply 30 days is a free trial is there. So be careful. You can use it. And actually monthly will be $86.4. Now click on this button, create directory. When you clear directory, active directory basically in AWS. Okay, Active Directory as a AWS gets created basically in AWS and it is given as a service. Very, very important. The most important thing when you click on this directory button, it may take literally 30 minutes or 25 minutes to 30 minutes to go and create a DNS. I've already created a DNS for you. So it looks like it comes like this one. Directory ID, the domain name, whatever I want to go for it. Now, when you click on like this, it says, boss, you are active. First point, it says, active okay where is the vpc what vpc and are you able to see directory services are created in two availability zones a and b right and here comes the important part that is dns name is equal to address 10.0.0.201 2.115 understood right this is my dns dns names now what is the next thing i want to do it so if you go back here as an example okay so this one active directory now it is getting created done now what do you do for this total vpc there is something called as the dhcp option set this one it, you need to go and set proper your dns name so that tomorrow when servers gets added basically in the network the dhcp basically configuration should be properly corrected and dns name should be there so that's the reason what i will do let's take an example of the vpc i will go back to vpc just type VPC. Wherever I created this Active Directory, that is my VPC. I go back to VPC. Now what you can see, see what literally I have done. Literally what you need to do, maybe you can create your own DHCP. So go a little bit below and you will see DHCP option set. Click on DHCP option set. Create DHCP option set. Now here you can provide your domain. The domain name I created is agilework.com, right? And what is my very, very important domain name servers? So domain name numbers, do you remember? I provided 10.0.2 servers, 10.0.0.115. Comma, there are two servers, right? Provide this one and click on create option set. Provide these two things and create. I've already created a DHCP. Then what do you need to do? DHCP you created, go back to your VPC. Now I want to attach the created DHCP option set to the VPC. Now this is my VPC. Click on action and click on edit DHCP option set. Are you able to see there is a DHCP option set which I have already created. 
So I'll show you what I've created and I've attached it. That's the reason everything is working fine. Go back to DHCP and then paste it here. Paste it here and click on enter. Now here comes. Are you able to see? Are you able to see the good thing here? What is this one? Domain name is equal to agile. Domain server name is equal to 10.0.0 by 201. 10.0.2.115. This is the way I go and add a system. Basically, now what happened? My VPC is having a proper DHCP also. So tomorrow I go and create hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of systems. I don't have any problem as an industry, right? So I all these things are added to a proper DNS. So what would be the next step? Go and try to create your EC2 instance. Very straightforward. So I'll tell you what is the procedure to go and create. Everything is very simple. So take an example. Uh, go back and try to create your EC2 instance. Launch EC2 instance. Right? Maybe select anything, whatever you require. 2016, I want to take it. Anything you can take it, but I'm just taking the 2016. Click on the button. Right? Select your instance type, click on next, number of system, and uh, provide your VPC. This is my VPC. This is my subnet, whichever I want to go and provide. I want to en enable public IP address so that I can log in. Go below. The good part about user data, what you can do in a user data would be write a program so that futurely, if you want to add a domain to your system, you can dynamically assign domain to your system as an example. If you want to write any program, the program is ready made here, is present as an example. I've already written a program here. I'll share it back to you. I can paste it back here. Right now, I don't want to do anything. Click on next. Provide the storage by default storage. Click on next. Add your tags. Click on next. Provide your security group. Right now, I want to make it a security group 3389 just for a sample purpose. Launch. Launch a system. Select your key pair. Select your key pair. Select it and done. Now the system gets created. Right? So I think I have already created one EC2 instance. Let's log in and check it out. When the systems execute, what do you do? What do you see? So this system is getting launched. So we will it will take some time, but let's log into this one. So this is my key pair. This key pair. Select it. Paste it here. Click on this is my domain. So I log into this system. Let's take an example. Uh, so if you see the beauty of this one, when I provided paste, if the user data, what you have written is correct, see how the computer has been already added to. So are you able to see here? What is that? Agilework.com. The computer is added to the domain. So this is the way you can configure domain, add the users, add basically groups, add group policies, and drive your application very efficiently. Right? I log into the system. System is there. Let me go and check it out whether the system is added to the domain. How do I do it? Just I go and click on my PC. And before I go for it, before I go for it, I'll just go for here below. Are you able to see? See what is the internet access says? Agilework.com. That means basically the server is already added into Agile network. To prove it, so what I will do, simply go back and click on start button. Click on my PC. Take an example. Right click on this PC. Right click on this PC. Go back to the properties. System is actually very slow because of its free tire. So I grab, I can, are you able to see how beautiful, full computer name, full computer name. Are you able to see some random ID dot agilework.com? The system is there right now in a domain. How do you prove yourself? You can also go and click on this button, but actually it's already there. Now you go back and click on computer name and go and click on change. Are you able to see the system already added into the domain? Agilework.com computer name. If you want to have the same computer name, or write a program to change the computer name. That's it. You can come up and see my system is in domain. This is actually way directory services works for you, right? This is directory services. And basically, my computer is added into the domain. Now you can add your, what is that one? Active directory. You can go and create your group site. So you have to be a little bit more mature to have an, what is meant by an active directory. 
then you can go and create a happily one group, Active Directory code group called as administrator. In the user data, write a program to paste the Active Directory here. And that's it as an example. What will happen? Active Directory, you can just add, and there is no need for you to launch any key pair. Without any key pair, you can log in. That's the beauty of directory services. So I think uh, I think uh, you can just comment me if you have any questions related to that one. So happily go and create a server and add it into your domain. Make sense? So I think uh, let me go back to the directory services and talk about uh, some of the parts and parcel of directory services. Now it's very good. Actually, it becomes very mature. Directory services are there here. Yes, it is working fine. Anytime you want to change the password, you can change the password because this is a service provided to us. Now, as an example, you can also enable. Now, once your Active Directory is enabled, now can you can integrate this Active Directory authentication with AWS Console, AWS, okay, Walk Docs, everything. So if you can go back here, so AWS Management Console, I enable it. You can enable AWS Chimney, AWS Connect, quick, basically work docs, work mail, workspace. All these things you can integrate with your Active Directory, and that's it. People can log into your Active Directory as a username and a password. That's the beauty of this one, actually. It's a very, very wonderful thing, and as an example, growing well, very tremendously, it's going well. And you want to scale and share it? You want to share this Active Directory? You can share your Active Directory, and as you know, right, it's already your Active Directory is present in the network, VPC network and you want to establish any kind of a routing, anything, license, LDAP, integration with LDAP, all these things are also there. Little bit higher uh, version. Maintenance, I want to take a backup of Active Directory. Something goes wrong, so what will happen? So I don't need to work on it. It is having an integration with SNS. You can create a notification, and are you able to see? Snapshots are already taken care. So basically, daily, daily snapshots have been taken care. Happily, this is the beauty of your Active Directory as a service in AWS. There is no need to worry about anything about Active Directory when I go for directory services because this is coming as a service. OK, so hope you understand what is meant by directory services. If you go back a small recap, I have created a DNS that is using Active Directories. Two servers are created as an example. DNS are added to the DHCP option set, attached to the VPC, and created a new systems. All the systems were working. OK, so hope you enjoy my video. So if you have any questions, basically, please provide me a comment so that I can just answer your question. OK, thank you. Have a nice day. Thank you.